I'm sitting in one of Peden Stadium's 24,000 seats. This seat and all the rest of those will be filled on Saturday. It's time to get you keyed up for the home opener, Ohio and New Mexico State. Hi everybody, I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. We've seen big crowds at Peden Stadium before. 2005 against Pittsburgh, the opener a couple of years ago against UConn. Last year, the Marshall crowd was great. The Temple crowd was great too. But the crowd on Saturday could be the biggest that we've seen in some time. As I mentioned, this seat will be filled. All of them will be filled. And the berm on the south side of the field, that should be filled up too. The goal for this program is to turn Peden Stadium into a pit for the opposition. Ohio has taken the last two home openers. Ohio is 9-1 in the last 10 home games. But there have been losses here, a couple, over the past couple of years. The last two years, Ohio dropped one contest in their home slate of games. They want to make sure that coming in here is one of the most difficult things to do. Very difficult to get a win for the opposition in this stadium. And the goal this season is to protect Peden Stadium with great success. There are six home games. This is the first of six. How does it get done against the Aggies? How does Ohio start to pitch a shutout on the banks of the Hocking? Here are the keys. Key one, D, dominance. Ohio pitched a shutout the second half at Penn State. The offense scored 21 points and the defense didn't give up a thing. The Bobcats put themselves in position to take the lead, put the Nittany Lions away, and kneel on the ball in victory formation at the end because the D dominated. There were fumble recoveries and a pick. Penn State's offense was balanced. New Mexico State must throw the ball to have success. They're really one-dimensional. They don't run well. Just two and a half yards per carry against an FCS defense in week one. The Aggies threw for 362 yards against the Cats last year. They threw for 367 last week. Penn State completed 56% of their passes last week against Ohio. They hope their balance would aid in that department. Ohio stood tall against that setup. So knowing the Aggies will have to and will throw should give Ohio a chance to lock down and dominate. Key two, keep it snappy. Ohio ran 88 offensive plays against Penn State. 88 is a monster snap count. Considering the time of possession of the first quarter was heavily tilted in the Nittany Lions' favor, a play total in the 80s does so much. A team can really be balanced. Ohio has a run and pass threat. And the more you snap, the more you have a chance to score. New Mexico State is flying across the country to play in Athens. That's not a good setup for success. Combine that with the number of plays Ohio hopes they have to defend, and there's a high probability that the Aggies grow tired, play on their heels, and give up points. Keeping the offense snappy will make everyone wearing green and white happy. Key three, turn Peden into a pit. Folks from New Mexico know all about the pit, the University of New Mexico's legendary basketball arena. It's hard, if not impossible, to win there. The noise is deafening. The home team uses that energy to dominate their guests. A home venue that's called a pit is a good thing. Peden Stadium is becoming a tough place to win. With an expected sellout, with all the buzz for this season and the attention Ohio got from the victory over Penn State, this could be the type of atmosphere that Ohio hopes to play in front of every home game. If Peden turns into a pit, the Bobcats have an even better chance to win over the Aggies or whoever comes to town. Keeping the energy going from the crowd to the field, the field to the crowd is key. All right, so we got you keyed up for the highly anticipated Peden Stadium opener for 2012. 1-0 Ohio and 1-0 New Mexico State. Our coverage on the People's Bank Ohio IMG Sports Network powered by Horizon starts at 6 o'clock on Saturday with the kick at 7. Get here early, be loud, have fun. Enjoy it. It's the Bobcats and the Aggies. For Chris Sabo, Evan Shaw, and the rest of the Bobcat TV crew, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.